Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. Um, this is kind of a combination haul from a few trips to the store. Um, yeah, so I thought I would show you what I've accumulated over the past couple times I've gone to Sephora. So let's get started. Just gonna try to run through these things pretty quickly. The first thing that I'll show you is um, I got the Stila One Step Corrector. It's a skin tone correcting and brightening serum. So it just has a swirl of the three colors. It's got peach, green, and lavender. So the green is supposed to minimize redness, which I, I have on my cheeks. Um, the lavender counteracts uh, sallow undertones and peach brightens, illuminates, and it helps diminish the appearance of sunspots, which I also have. So I'm kind of hoping that this serum works. I know there's a couple of YouTubers um, that use this and they seem to like it and their skin is always beautiful. So I always kind of pick up things that I um, see other beauty gurus pick up if they're gorgeous. All right. And the next thing that I got was the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. Now I don't set my face a ton, but sometimes I feel like I get a little bit shiny throughout the day and I just kind of want that like overall kind of flawless look. So I figured that I would grab this. I know Lauren loves this and uses it a ton. So I picked this up and I can't wait to try it. So I picked up a bunch of bite products um, because I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So this one is the Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the color Leche Leche. In the color Leche. I don't really know. It's L-E-C-H-E and they both have the accent goose or whatever. Anyway, so I'll just show you what this one looks like. Alright, so this one's just a really pretty nude. It's a little bit darker than I'm used to for a nude, but I'll just swatch it a little bit. Yeah, it's a darker sort of brown pink nude um, but I'm absolutely obsessed with bite products so I'm excited to try this all right so let's move on to more bite products so I got two lipsticks and okay let's see so I got two of the luminous cream lipsticks one in Kava and one in Retsina. I don't really know why they named these so that you can barely pronounce them or don't know if you're saying them correctly. But the these are both in the nudes um, section of their colors. So the Kava is the one that I originally went there for, but they've been out for a while, so I wasn't able to pick this up for a minute. Okay, so the Kava is like a really pretty cool tone nude it's a little bit on the it looks almost like a, a lavender side of it but I'll swatch it here yeah so it's this one right here and it's just a really pretty cool tone nude I um, I actually have tried it and I really really like it and the retsina is more of a warm tone nude and I'll swatch that one right next to it so yeah, the Retsina is the one right in the middle here, and it's just a really pretty um, pinky nude, whereas this one's more of a lavender purpley nude. Okay, so I picked up the Bite Lush Lip Wipes, and I think these are new, but I always find that if I'm testing a new lip color or I go for a darker lip color and I want to wipe it off for work or I want to wipe it off because I'm doing something else or switch up my lip color, I always find that I get like super red and kind of my lips get really irritated. So I wanted to give these ones a try and um, see how they work. I did try one. This one only came, I think it's a pack of like, um, I think it's a pack of like eight or ten or something like that. But anyway, I did give them a try once and I really enjoyed them. So, um, yeah. So these ones are supposed to be really good. Reserve, draw, whatever. They're infused lip wipes. Wipes, wipes, wipes. So I also picked up one of the travel size Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturize and Lotion Plus. This was in the um, little like candy aisle section I call it right as you go to check out it's like taunting you like candy all these little things but I've heard really good things about the moisturizer um, so and I tried another one but I think it was called the moisturizing gel I don't know what the difference is so I picked up the moisturizing lotion plus so we'll give that one a try so I picked up the Becca 
Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I gave this one a test in the store on just on the back of my hand and it looked really really good. It literally gave my hand like a I don't know, it was like a soft focus film kind of thing right over my hand and I was thinking that it would look really beautiful on my on my skin if I wanted a matte look, which is not often, but I'm going to a wedding soon and I feel like that will be really good for the wedding. Um, kind of just give my skin a really nice blank, matte, flawless canvas. Anyway. Ah, uh, okay. And so my favorite purchase that I got was the Becca pressed um, shimmering skin perfector in rose gold okay so I have to take this out and I have to swatch it for you because I know Jaclyn Hill which um, everyone who everyone loves absolutely loves this so I had to pick it up because I love the opal and I have the moonstone so okay this is really really pretty it's a little bit more pink than I actually expected but I'm super super excited to try this um, let's see. Oh, it's so soft. These, um, skin perfectors, I'm telling you, they are, like, so soft. They go on very, very creamy and smooth. And that right there is that. So it's very pinky. I feel like I will have to wear, um, warm colors when I wear this. But I'm really excited to try it out in a look. And I almost think that it will look really pretty on your eyes, too. So we'll see what I do with that. I did do a tutorial recently on the Makeup Forever Teal Color um, Eyeshadow. I did pick up a palette of three eyeshadows very recently. It was the teal color, the gold color, and then the taupe color. So the teal color, oh, I'm going to have to like take these out. Ugh. Okay, I'm not going to take these out. Mm, cool. Way to break them, Haley. I'm going to list them and the numbers in the description bar below. I plan on picking up a ton more, but for now I just picked up the teal, the gold, and the shimmery kind of taupey color, and I'm going to try to play around with them and see how I like them. So far, so good though. They're really creamy, really blendable, and really pigmented. So, yeah. Okie dokie. So I also got the Ultimate Color Gloss in Miami Vice from Becca. So I've kind of swatched this a couple times and I didn't know, I mean I didn't really need it and I never need lip glosses because I have so many. But I picked this one up. It's a beautiful pinky peach color. And yeah, I've never had a, a Becca lip gloss before. But yeah, I think I kind of like them. So we'll see. I'll kind of test them out and see what I, what I can find. Out. All right, and then I also got a Bite Beauty Cashmere Lip Cream. Oh my God, you guys. So I tried this as soon as I got it because I'm very, very impatient. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I, like, okay, so before I reveal the color, I have never tried this color on my lips before. I'm so, so scared of dark lips, but, ugh, so, so beautiful. Okay, so the color is called... Sancier, I think. It is the most beautiful, like magenta, fuchsia, kind of like a pinky red. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous, you guys, when you put it on. I thought it was like a lip gloss at first, I swear, even though it says cashmere lip cream. But when you put it on your lips, it's like lipstick in a tube form, like um, just wicked creamy, wicked pigmented. Yeah, that was one swipe. I wore it to dinner and it pretty much stayed on. I mean, you'd have to touch up just a little bit, of course, where you're, you're you know, where you're eating and, and whatnot. But for the most part, the color stays really, really well. So, yeah, I absolutely love the um, formula and the Bite Beauty products. Man, absolutely love it. Okay, so in order to keep those dark colors on, I picked up the OCC... Um, cosmetic color pencil, the anti-feather pencil, and with the dark colors that I'm kind of starting to explore, I don't want them to bleed and run. I don't have wicked defined lips, so I figured that I would try this, and I know that I've heard a couple people say that they love it, and it works really well, so we'll see. The last product that I picked up was the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. So, 
Being that it is coming up on Halloween time, I'm going to be doing some glittery looks and play around with some fun colors and glitter and sparkle and whatnot. And I heard that this glitter glue is really, really good. But I'm super excited to try this. And yeah. So that is everything that I purchased. And yeah. Um, let me know what you guys have found recently. Any lip colors, any new products. Um, I'm always game for trying new products. I guess that's all I have to say. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Throw it in the bag, throw it in the bag, because I'm poor now that I am a VIB Rouge. Woo! -hoo. Throw it in the bag. But yeah, I just actually, <laughs> why am I failing at life? Okay. Now I have to wash my hands and all that 10 minutes before I have to be to work.